Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solution by D.N. Kamau. This is an assignment, the first assignment after introduction to technical drawing. Uh, we shall look at it step by step so that at the end of uh, this lesson you will be able to uh, complete the assignment as given. So from what we have learned in the previous lessons, uh, general uh, communication, we have seen introduction to further work or, or, or further work on use and care of instruments. We have seen uh, correct paper layouts, yeah, sizes, folding, uh, quality of lines and lettering, techniques of dimensioning and construction to scales. So today we want to look at uh, the assignment and uh, we need to prepare the following. One, uh, prepare borderlines, the correct line work, title block and uh, correctly fill it, a notes area and in it neatly print alphabetical letters, upper and lower case, uh, draw and describe types of lines that will be given and construct the given angles. We need to observe the following as we go about uh, doing the assignment or any other assignment that will be given. Uh, neatness is one of the things that you have to observe always. Clean your instrument, use the correct eraser, and wipe off rubber particles with a clean piece of cloth so that your work does not uh, get dirty smudges. Good pencil work and line work. Uh, this is mandatory. You have to uh, prepare your pencil correctly, sharpen it, and use the correct pencil for the right work. Um, the pencil is the one that gives your work the, the neatness and the, the, the goodness that it deserves. Uh, accuracy is another thing that you also need to uh, observe. You have to be keen when reading measurements so that you, you do the correct measurements. You use the measurements that have been given. Yeah. So, and as you also draw, make sure your lines do not intersect each other. The lines have to be, uh, they have to reach where they, they need to. Uh, proper parallelism and uh, perpendiculars, use the T-square and Z-square correctly and you will be able to get this. So this brings us to uh, the layout of the assignment. Uh, we shall notice here there is a the notes area. Uh, we are assuming this is the paper line and this is the border line. You will see that the border lines have perfect corners here. There is no intersection. And then we have uh, the title block down here with everything and uh, we shall need to go uh, deep into each
Now we have uh, uh, this is the <clears throat> the layout. This is the layout. Uh, the layout. Is it to use coding? I'm not seeing anywhere where there is a coding. Uh, however, I'm still going to assume that uh, it is a coding. So here we have the, the, the complete work, the complete assignment, uh, where we have uh, the line work, starting with the finish line all the way to to the to that line and on this side we have a notes area in the notes area we have a b c d up to z so i think if we can zoom here uh, we'll be able to see we can be able to see the the notes area we start with a b c d up to z and then uh, a lower case leave that line of 10 uh, millimeters you start a b c d in the lower case yeah notice that the lower case is covering uh, a half of 400 millimeters i mean uh, of uh, four millimeters you see that from this to this point is 10 millimeters then we have three millimeters and we have three millimeters uh, on this side and therefore this space here is four millimeters it's four millimeters so um, let's so from this layout uh, we are able to see the the notes area here then we have the title block down here um, uh, we have the line work here the lines have been done uh, 60 millimeters we have an imaginary line on this side and an imaginary line on this side uh, 20 millimeters from the borderline an imaginary line which uh, may not be visible uh, because it is true construction line and then uh, 20 millimeters from this and another 60 millimeters so all these uh, lines are 60 millimeters and then of course we have the the angles here so let us start uh, by looking at this area here this area here and uh, we can see that uh, this is uh, the paper line and this is the border line so from the border line up here and this is the length of the borderline, which is 130. So from uh, this dark line to this dark line is 10 millimeters. Uh, and that way, all the way down here. So all these are 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And then inside here, we have three millimeters on the upper side and three millimeters construction lines. So that uh, what uh, we actually writing on the space here is four millimeters yes and then you have your alphabetical letters uh, written neatly uh, printed uh, as straight as possible and uh, where you reach z uh, you skip one 10 millimeter line and you start your uh, alphabet in uh, lower case and as you finish you skip another uh, you skip another 10 millimeters and then you start one two three you go all the way one two three up to a hundred and uh, once you are through with that and uh, of course uh, the border the, the the title block is uh, placed correctly there uh, this is the masking tape holding onto the paper and then we have our title block here um uh i'm sorry this is uh, uh kiambu institute of science and technology should have been sigalagala national polytechnic 
but that one uh, is no big deal then we have the paper line here and the border line so the next thing uh, we look at is the um, is the line work and we we start with the finish line so finish line here uh, is a dark line which is uh, visible continuous thick line for drawing uh, visible outlines then the next one is construction line construction line uh, continuous line uh, for initiating project lines hatching and uh, projection lines then dashed line this uh, dashed or hidden detail line uh, dashed thin for hidden details and hidden outlines then you move to cutting plane or section lines uh, they have thick ends and uh, with the turned uh, arrowheads uh, they are used for viewing through cutting planes and cutting lines then we have a chain line here chain line a, a long dash and a short one a long one and a short one long one and a short one chain or fetter lines uh, these are thin chain uh, showing center uh, centers uh, or lines of symmetry and the next one is a dimension line dimension line has a uh, guidelines at the end and uh, um, guidelines at the end uh, this is another dimension line so uh, they are drawn they are thin continuous uh, light lines uh, with arrowheads uh, at the end for showing dimensions of objects then we have the leader line leader line is also a thin continuous line with an arrowhead on one end and is used for pointing and explaining uh, details so uh, once we are through with that then uh, we have uh, we have the last one here uh, which is a continuity line uh, which is a continuous thin straight uh, uh, continuous straight line with zigzag for showing partial it is used for showing uh, partial objects partial objects uh, and can uh, we, objects that cannot fit in the in the drawing yes then we can go to the angles uh, these are angles drawing, uh, drawn using uh, using a pair of compass pair of compass and uh, we have done this uh, by just drawing a, a horizontal line then with your pair of compass uh, drawing that arc and then cutting and uh, bisecting and you'll be able to get the 90 degrees line uh, 22 and a half degrees 22 and a half degrees that um, comes from the parent 90 degrees uh, divided by 2 you get 45 and divide by 2 you get that one so we also have that 60 I just cut once and you get uh, 60 degrees and then we have 15 degrees yes also coming from uh, the parent angle which you should be able to uh, actually know then we have 67 this is a combined angle it has two different parent angles uh, that makes it uh, 67 and we use a pair of compass to to do it and then we have a uh, 56.25 look for the two parent angles that make uh, this angle because it's a combined angle as opposed to the others and uh, I think that's all uh, on this 
assignment. So I hope you do understand and you'll be able to get it uh, right. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next slide.